Hey guys, another HubSpot local development tutorial. And yeah, I decided to create another series, the latest version of this local development in HubSpot because I think my old tutorial doesn't really explain, I, I haven't really explained it well. So hope this gives it justice and I'll try my best to like really kind of like give you a differentiation of a global and local um packages and stuff. So yeah, so let's begin. So you need to have a Visual Studio Code or any IDE. I love using Visual Studio Code. I have a folder in here, which you can see when I click on open folder. I have a folder called HubSpot Templates 2024. And I created another folder for my company, which is HB. Um, and then we will install or we're going to work on this one um, with, with, with regards to creating temp templates, cleaning the unnecessary files on their designer manager or yeah file manager rather so yeah um if you're starting out in hubspot you need to install the dependency or the packages rather yeah dependency or package sure is the same so you need to install the the package dependencies and these are the node um and you need to have a node by the way so you click on the node.js.org so make sure you have that and if you're not sure if you've already installed a node, um, before before with that, um, I would there are two types of like version that you can install, which is the current and the latest um, LTS recommended for most users. I recommend to use this one instead of this because like you current latest features normally have uh like a struggle, have a glitches. So use the stable one, and then um, if you're not sure. If you have a node or not, you can open your terminal, click on that, go into the bash. I use bash, by the way, for my terminal. You can use whatever you want. You can type in node.version if you're not sure. So I'm using 16.51. I already have a node. I can upgrade it, but I'm fine with that. So the latest LTS is 18.16. And this one is 20. Well, I'm fine with the 16. We're good in that. And okay, so once we already have a node, we can still we can start installing the packages. Now, when you use the G, I'm gonna try to do that. So if I copy paste that, install the G, you'll notice that like the node module folder is not like after like if this finishes, you won't see any node module local like folder there, I believe, because they're using G, which means um, they fetching whatever node modules you already installed. And I already installed a node module on my other folders. So I believe it would not, it would not be generated in there. So let's, let's take a look. So it's already completed, but there's still, there's no node module because we use the global packages. So if we use um let's say you're gonna use local i mean it's fine to use a um global packages but sometimes you don't know what are the other package what are the other um package you put in into your to your node module so for me i want to use other um framework like maybe tailwind so i want to i prefer to just use in a local um local package so let's move that HubSpot, so no G on it, and then CLI. You'll notice there that there should be a node module folder that generated. Okay, if you that's that's what it means in here. Okay, um, which is npm install G and then G. This is the local um package. Now, if you want to upgrade the package, let's say you're using the old. CLI, which is this one. Um, the old CLI is this one. It's S C M S C L I, and they are now using CLI. So, if you want that to, um, if you want that to remove the old CLI, because we don't need that, you can. I don't think I have an old CLI in here here for old HubSpot package in here, but let's see. So let's say you install a old. Um, package which is CMS the latest one is CLI so you can remove that just so to so no vulnerable I haven't 
there's no any old packages but this is just like if you want to um remove it and if you want to see what current version you have which i believe it's ready latest because i just installed the latest version so i'm currently using 4.1.7 so that it's all about so it says if your version is number less than 3.0, you're using old version, okay? Remember, CMS and CLI is the old version while the CLI is the new version, okay? Now we can then, if you're not sure with other command, you can use HESL, but we're not gonna using that. But for reference, you can use that. And then we need to install a HubSpot to config YML, and we need to authenticate our HubSpot. So um, HubSpot, HubSpot um, Visual Studio Code can read or can, I mean, HubSpot and VS Code can communicate to each other. We need to use this command line, which is authenticator. Um, okay, so I'm going to type in HS in it, and it will pop like a, like a personal key. So I'm going to click on Y because I need to put in my personal key to, to access the HubSpot account. So Y, then it will generate a new link I'm gonna click on view other um that will you will use this and then it will generate a personal key that you need to copy I'm gonna remove that and then you paste enter a unique cli so this is just like for your own reference you can use a different one Oh, so you cannot use a okay. So it will authenticate the This um unique reference is just for for your own um, naming convention. Error occurred. Get info. So, by the way, if you are having this error, which is an error occurred, get info thing. HubSpot API, it just means that HubSpot and VS Code is having problem to communicate. This is normal, so, because I had a typo earlier, so what we can do then is just remove that, um, refresh our Visual Studio Code, and then rerun it again. So, let's open another Bosch, and what was that? It's Let's type in again HS in it. Okay, I'm gonna type in Y. And then we'll copy again. We'll, we'll do the process again. If you encounter that issue, just just it's just saying it's having a hard time to to respond. Um it might be due to the like the typo you put in. So I'm gonna click on yes, the name of the CLI. 23 and tada it's already so success wp config hubspot yml is ready created and now on my next or other series part two tutorial we we're going to cover about fetching the files from the hubspot here to our local computer so we can make an update we can delete necessary stuff and we can upload or push files that we have developed so thank you and let me know if you have any questions.